Shut up and sit down. and welcome to another mini episode. This is Anna. Now, the tables might have turned. <clears throat> if you are familiar with our mini episodes, you will be familiar with the fact that I have oftentimes left April high and dry with our guests. And um, not too long ago, she uh, left me a, quite a message uh, expressing how upset she was with the fact that I would leave her with all these quote-unquote crazy people. A lot of them I pre-screened, and they seemed fine to me. I don't know. She just maybe brings up the crazy and people. I don't get it. But anyway, so she opted out of this mini so to leave me with our uh, our guest today. Um, and I'm excited. I don't know much about her other than her name is Angie. Yeah, that's me, Angie. Hi, Angie. Welcome to Podcrashed. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you are interested in um, doing an ad for our show, correct? Yeah, yeah. You see... I work with this entertainment group, right? We're called, we're called the Yowza Entertainment. Oh, Yowza. Yowza, yep. And what kind of things does Yowza Entertainment do? We do? We're in the circus business, hon. Oh, is there a lot of business in the circus business? Now? Oh, yeah. You think it's going out of style, but no, 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 it's coming back. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so when you say in the circus business, do you hire people for the circus? What, what kind of things do you do? Yeah, you see, me, I'm basically the HR person. Human and resources he, in the circus. Yep, yeah, human resources in the circus. So I take care of all the hiring, all the firing, all the uh, whatever stuff you need. All You come to me, Angie, you know you come to me and I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you see, lately it seems like people are too happy in their homes. Kids, you know, they're not running away as much as they used to. I, yeah, so okay. So we really that. need some workers, you know. People, you know, this, this health care, you know, people are getting mental health help. It's kind of ruining our business. Okay, so he's predominantly sustained on runaways and the mentally insane. Oh, yeah, big time. Those in the, uh, like, the circus freaks. Okay. People are more embracing more of their, you know, deformities, and they're not really going to the circus because they think they're being taken advantage of. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got tons of lawsuits about that. Don't worry about that, though. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so, yeah, so you're saying that in a lot of people are embracing this new society where we're very involved and we, we care a lot about, and we... we Try to involve people with all walks of life and take care of each other and yeah, no one, no one's freaking shunned off to the circus anymore. Okay, so you survived predominantly on on out outcasts essentially. Oh yeah, big time. But those made the best performers. They had the best energy and everything like that. Oh okay, that's good to know. But so you're having a problem with this. So what what kind of things are you trying to do to uh, address this issue you're having? Well, right now we're just going around trying to get on podcasts, radio shows, wherever mm -hmm. from wherever town that we're gonna be in that. That day, we say, hey, come on down to the circus, you know, come on down to the tent, you want to join up, you don't got nothing better to do, hey, you know, be a couple good months of some fun. Oh, okay, so you're actually calling people to come in the moment and just join up when they want to. Yeah, I mean, if you're blitzed, that's the best time, because then you sign up, you're in for a couple months contract and work your, your odds, you know, it's kind of like the army where once you're in, you're in, you can't leave that easily. Oh, okay, so you have them sign a contract. Yep, oh yeah, binding contract, they can't get out of it, it's like Scientology, we come and find you if you try and run away. Okay, alright, that's, that's a good thing to, to put out there, do you often tell them this when they come to you, or is it something you kind of... Hell no, why would you tell people this? <laughs> Well, you are saying it on a podcast. Yeah, but how many people listen to this, really? Come on. Oh, that's a good point. Um, I may be may, I may, banking on the one or two psychopaths, maybe, that you got listening to your show that they'll come down and they'll feel that, you know, they'll be right at home with us. Okay, okay. Any any particular spots you're looking to fill at the moment? Any particular jobs or performers that you're definitely needing? Well, right now we got a couple openings for clowns. You know, I, I got to say, I do know that one lady that you had on, uh, commercial, I think, that, what's this fucking face? Uh, Tony Danza. Oh, yes, we did have, uh, for anyone who's not familiar, Tony Danza, the actor from Taxi and Who's the Boss, has retired from acting and become a, a, an attorney who specializes in clown law. Yeah, 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 well, that prick, he ended up suing us because this ditz bobo, you know, the clown that uh -huh. got sat on, yeah, that idiot, we told her to get out of the way, we were training the elephant to sit down, she stood right behind that damn thing and boom, the elephant sat on her. Told okay. her to get out of the way, she didn't get out of the way. 
Well, as I as I recall from the commercial, she only got about two thousand dollars. I think pretty, you guys got away pretty pretty good in that respect. You didn't have to pay her too much, though. Hey, you know how far two thousand dollars can go in this business, hun? Can go a long way. Can get a lion, tiger, bear, oh my, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, speaking of money, since you brought it up, um, what kind of payment or salary does somebody who is joining up on the circus look to to get? Payment? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, how do they... People get paid? I, well, I imagine you would probably deduct... You tell me I'm doing this shit for free? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, are you, 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 you... I assume you're deducting for, like, cost of living, and you're feeding them, and giving them a place to stay when they're not performing, correct? Yeah, that's basically it. We, we take care of everything for them. We drag their houses they, around, uh-huh. we drag, you know... They eat, we got caterers, sometimes just the people kind of just cook for themselves, whatever they want. You don't get paid, it's the freaking circus. You might get, like, tips if you do a side job or something like that. Oh, okay. So they don't, so at the end of their month contract, or a couple months, if they opt to leave, if they can leave, if you decide maybe you're, they're not good enough for you anyway, they don't really walk away with anything? Because I, I would argue to say even even when you're in prison you get money put away as you work so that you have something when you leave. They have nothing? Seriously? You get money in the prison? Yeah. Damn, I'm in the wrong business. I need to go to prison then. I mean, I, I don't want to seem uncouth. You what kind of what kind of what kind of uh, crimes are we looking at to get into prison? Well, I I mean, just talking with you for the last five minutes, I could venture to say you're probably already breaking quite a few of them. So so yeah, you but we're we're the circus. We have our own we have our own rules. All right, we're like I mean like we look at Scientology. You know, we we go from Scientology. They have their own rules. They do what they want. The government leaves them alone. We kind of we're kind of like is, that. That is true. They are often afraid of them. I hear. Um. Now, do you work for a particular circus, or do you kind of, or do you work for one particular? Like, are you a Barnum and Bailey's, or or something similar? You know, where it's one circus line. Well, it used to be Barnum and Bailey's, just like that freaking bimbo, you know, Bobo with the face. Oh, that's right, and, right. And because of the lawsuit and the elephant sitting on her, you know, she's lucky she didn't go right up the elephant's ass with that one. She was right there in the spot. She okay. could have been a freaking elephant's enema or suppository, whatever you want to call it. Uh-huh. But hey, you know. <coughs> You okay? Do you... Fine, I just need a smoke break once in a while, but okay. I'm fine. I'll be all right for another two minutes or so. Okay, okay. What was the question? Um, the Barnum and Bailey is some... Right, right, yeah. right. So we had to change our name because we got a bad name because because of that bimbo, we couldn't get any more elephants, you know? They made us mm-hmm. take away the elephant and got took it away, so we changed our name, then we can get elephants more. So now we're just a Yowza Circus. Yowza. Yowza, That's just like right. Yowza Entertainment, Yowza Circus. Okay, and um, for anybody who maybe isn't necessarily willing to join up with the circus, but maybe is interested in attending the circus, are you performing nearby anytime soon? Well, yeah, we're in town right now. That's why I'm on the podcast, to say that, hey, we're in town, come join up, come see the show. Same difference, maybe we might get someone that's in the audience that wants to come join up, and so we'll get up people that way. Okay, now, um, I hate to press you, but... Worst case scenario, nobody wants to join up. What what are your what is your next step if you can't seem to get anybody? Well, see, that's the one thing I listened to one or two of your shows and whatnot, and you got that bum bait, right? Uh-huh. How to get a hold of them? Do you know how to get a hold of them? Um, I think I have their contact information. I don't know if they'd be comfortable with me giving it out to you, but I'm sure I could. Uh, I can contact them on your behalf, perhaps. All right. Well, don't. I mean, if that stuff works as good as it does, you know, we might just go to Battle Creek or Jackson or something like that, and. Spread some bum beta around, get some bums, and that's how we'll get off people. That's usually how we do it. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of bums in the circus nowadays. Oh, yeah. I mean, what they got to do? They don't got nothing better to do. Plus, most of them are psychopaths. Okay. All right. Well, it seems like you've got a pretty uh, foolproof plan in place. Oh, it works out one way or another. No worries. Okay. You want to be in the circus? Um, you know, I can't think of any talents I might be able to contribute, and I'd hate to be... You want to be a clown? We got an cl- opening for a clown. Oh, no, I'm I'm good. I have a horrible allergic reaction to makeup, so I'd have to be a makeupless clown, and nobody wants to see that. Oh, we got stuff that we can use. We use this lead-free paint. That's all we do. Oh, I'm glad it's lead-free, though. That's... I mean, I think it is. <laughs> okay, I imagine the cost is a very... Imp- it seems like you're kind of a nickel and dimer, kind of a frugal, which I'm not judging. I'm very frugal myself, so... It seems like maybe... Cost? You mean stuff costs stuff? 
Well, how do you procure new items for your sideshow? Ah, uh, we just go around, you know, someone's got a spare bit of this paint, someone's got a spare bit of this paint. Uh-huh. We go out to the dumpster, you know, might rummage around in there, they, they throw out old paint, we just throw some water in there, and it's good to go. Okay, do you happen to get your clothes there? Because I have recently heard of this great clothing store that's located behind the dumpster near the Walmart, um, and they sell clothes that are, aren't completely dirty, but just maybe in between being clean and dirty. Louie, you know Louie? Yes, Slightly yes. soiled clothes. Oh, that guy's amazing. I love him. Yes. I talk to him every time I go over there. He's yes. a great help. I hope I hope he's in good health, because from the app that he sent us, it seemed like he wasn't really doing that well. Oh, yeah, he's perfectly fine and healthy. He's like a pack of aid smoker. Might mean more of a cart and a day smoker, but okay. hey, that's the business he's in. You know, can't change that. He's fine and dandy and just loves freaking people out with his voice. Okay, okay, well, he was doing a great job of it. I, I think we're about we're ready to wrap it up, but I definitely thank you for stopping by. And What do you mean, this is all we're doing? Well, do you express the interest that you had to kind of get going, and, and I'd hate to take more of your time. You kind of got here. When did I you, say that? You, uh, when you first got in. Plus, you, you were due for a smoke break, as I recall. You trying to get rid of me? Uh, well, you is know. Is this I'm, all fake? This is a fake setup, isn't it? Well, got you cops around here, that's why you're talking about cops. No, I, did I mention cops? You're looking at me like I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy? Not any more so than most people I know. Um, no, I was just, I don't want to waste your time because you seem like you're a woman who's got a lot to go, a lot to, on her, on her plate, and I don't want to take any, take up any more of your time. I got all the time in the world, sweetheart. I can stay here as long as I want. You realize that I'm not paying you for this either, though, right? In fact, you have to pay me to run the ad. What? Yeah. You sure about that? You seem to be unfamiliar with how money works, and I just want to get that out there. You sure? Maybe you want to take a trip in the circus? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good, thank you. We'll work something out. I'll have to talk to April. All right, well, how about I get Bonzo in here? He's out in the clown car. He'll talk to you about that, and he'll change your mind. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. That was Angie, correct? Angie, yep. Yeah. Angie Dickerson. Angie Dickerson. Ah, oh, okay. Well, it was nice to meet you, Angie. And you can look forward to hearing Angie's uh, ad on our program, hopefully, this next episode. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better run our ad. (laughs) Okay. Um, Have a good one. Bye. Shut up and sit down.